Welcome friends, Boone here from Elliott Wave Pro. I uh, do another weekly outlook on Bitcoin. Um, if you want me to do a uh, outlook on another pair, um, just let us know, write a comment in the uh, comment section and um, I'll take a look, I'll put out a video on it. But I'll, I'll do another video on Bitcoin. So if we have a look at our, my last Bitcoin weekly outlook, we can see here, if we go on here, this was my last one. I was looking for, I was looking for this move up here um, to complete the B and then the C down and then we get that larger C up. So I, I was looking for, I said, if you take this break out here, it's dangerous because and you want to move it to break even as soon as you get to that high because it's more than likely going to be a B wave and then we get the C down and then we get the larger C up. Okay, so uh, that's exactly what happened. We we got this B up here and then we got the C down and then we got this larger move up. This was the first target here, the 38.2 and the second target was the 50 fib. If you go and check my last video out. <coughs> so. If we go on to the Bitcoin chart, um, you can see this was the flag in here. Uh, I'll get my pen. So this was the flag in here, the risky trade. We got that move up, then we got the C down, and then we got, instead of getting a C up here, we, we actually got a Y wave. Didn't quite get to the 50 fib, but we got our first target. Um, if you close the, your second target around here, well, great. So now we'll look on what this week, we got a sharp move down and we're getting this. We're getting a correction in here. So I'm looking for downside. Um, if I go onto the H4 chart, H4, we have bare hidden divergence. So I'm looking for this low here to be broken, which will be broken. And it may happen uh, this week. Now there's two scenarios when we get down onto the lower time frames. We've got this WXY. I'm looking for the X and then the Z. Now, the Y may be it. Uh, we might might only get the Y down and we get this C down here. This is why it's important to take this trade here. Uh, take the break of this one because we'll get this one down here. Now, we either get the correction here to confirm more downside that, we're, that the Y is complete and we go and break this low. Go and break this low over here for the H4 bear hidden divergence. Or what's more likely to happen, uh, we, I'm looking for this wave down here. Um, whether it breaks this trend line or not, we don't really know yet. Um, like I said, it, we wanna get into this cell and as soon as it comes through this trend line or breaks below here, we wanna be in the break even. We wanna move this trade to break even. And we'll see if we get a bounce off this trend line here. Uh, we might get a bear flag in here um, to go and break this low. Or we we get this move down, it breaks out here, comes price comes back above the trend line, gives us a bull flag here. And then we trade this Z up. Um, our target will be, <coughs> um, our target will probably be a little bit higher. Um, you definitely want to be moving to break even above this top here. Um, or even take half off, half your trade off there, because if you get in around here, um, move it to break even, take half off, and then find where this wave ends. I dare say we will get um, like bear hidden in here, uh, a bearish divergence in here, in the wave Z. And then, after the wave Z, after we get the end of the wave Z, 
we're looking for that short because we know that this low here will be broken from the H4 chart. So we're looking for, this is the main trade of the week. You can take this one down, uh, this one up, if you get that, if you get the setup, and then we get this here. If we get something like this, um, we can all take that one down to break this low. Um, and then we'll get that bullish divergence on the H4 chart, and then whatever happens uh, next, not next week, but the week after, um, we'll have to assess, assess the situation to where we are on the charts. So that's what I'm looking for this week. Um, last week went extremely well. We got the move up. We got the move down. We got the move up. This was a Y wave instead of a C. So that's even better, even more pips. So first target was definitely hit. Um, second target didn't quite get hit, but um, if you took trade off there, you're laughing. Um, now we're getting this in here. We're getting a nice bear flag. We want to take this trend line break and get this move down here. Then we'll have to assess, uh, assess the situation if we're getting a bear flag here or a bear correction here to go and break the low or we get that Z up. Um, we'll have to watch price action to see what, we'll, what we will get in here. Like I said, if we get uh, a break down here and a bear flag, you can sell to go and break this, this bottom over here. Um, or alternatively, if we just get a, uh, even if price bounces off this trend line, we get another move up here, um, you might get a bear flag up here, for example. You can take that to go and break the top. Um, where this one goes, uh, we may get to the 61.8 fib. But this is going to be a risky trade. Depends where it gives that bull flag um, or correction. Yeah, so uh, you can take this wherever it is, you can take it. Uh, you just want to move it to break even and see how far this Z goes up. It is a Z wave, so all Z has to do is break this top and then it can fall over straight away, as I've got it shown on this uh, with this arrow here. So ideally, we do get this. Uh, I hope that we do get this Z up this week because then. Uh, we will get this, and this is the trade we don't want to miss um, to go and break this low. Um, that's the larger correct. Uh, that's the larger impulsive wave. All these are internal. Um, unless we get that bear flag in here, um, then we can go and trade that one. Okay, so uh, that pretty well sums it up. Um, I hope you have a successful week. And yeah, let us know what you think about it in the comment section. Thank you.